Hi guys, I'm Greg from ZE Partner and today I'm going to be doing a video on Zoho WorkDrive and Zoho CRM. So there's a fantastic extension available free in the Zoho CRM marketplace to add a connection between Zoho CRM and Zoho WorkDrive to your CRM. So we're going to start by installing that. So we go to settings, all under marketplace, and then we're just going to search for work drive. And it's called Zoho work drive for Zoho CRM. And we're going to click install, I'm going to accept the terms and conditions and click install. And we're going to agree to the terms and authorize our data and click install. We'll install for all users. And it's installing. There we go. So we're going to authorize it to access work drive. There we go. And we're going to click finish. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to workflow rules and we want to go to deals. This is an automatic workflow that comes with the extension so that when you create a new deal, a new work drive folder is created. Now, the other thing you might want to do is go to accounts and turn it on for accounts. And you might also want to go to contacts and turn it on for contacts. Okay. So now when we create a new deal, a folder will automatically be created for that deal. So you'll see here, we've got the work drive folder ID and the work drive folder URL. So we just wait a minute and those will automatically populate. There they are. We can click in there and it'll take us to our folder. And you'll see here that it goes into the folder for the new test account and their associated deals. So now what we want to do is we want to come out of here. And the purpose of this video was to show one of my subscribers how he can automatically create a additional folder or two or three to appear here in this additional add-on that appears at the bottom. So we'll go through this in a bit more detail in a minute, but what you'll do next is you'll go to the settings and you'll go to workflow rules and you'll create a new rule and you'll say deals and we'll just call this on create deal because this is the function we'll run whenever we create a new deal say on record action create and we'll say all deals and we'll say function and then we'll create a new function called on create deal and the parameter for this function will be the deal id so we'll want the deal id to be sent to this function when we create a deal There we go. And now we'll get the deal record. And now from the deal record, we'll want to get the value from the field that has been automatically created by the extension that holds the ID of the folder. So you'll see here, this is the API name of the field. So we'll just get rid of this and we'll say work drive folder ID equals deal record dot get JSON. There we go. Now in a perfect world, we would immediately be able to access this information, but we don't live in a perfect world. The extension can take, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds to actually make the folder and save the data into the deal record. So when we create a new deal, it doesn't automatically populate into this field here. We have to wait a few seconds. Now, Zoho unfortunately does not have a wait function built in. So what we can do is I've made a website that automatically waits for us. So you'll see here, if we go and before we fetch our deal, we want to wait. So I'm just going to make a note here, wait for 20 seconds. 
and here we'll just go invoke URL so this will be the wait response and that's the URL we're gonna get and that's all we need now you'll notice here that in our URL we have a key and now this key is so that I don't have tons of people on the internet overwhelming my URL if you would like a key contact me and I'm happy to give those out within reason free of charge to people but I will leave this ABC 123 key working for a little while as long as my server doesn't get overloaded okay and under the seconds we're going to say wait for 20 seconds so now if this has worked it should respond with success so we'll say if wait response dot contains success equals equals true then we want to go on and do this okay so now we've waited 20 seconds we've gotten the success message back from from the wait function and now we fetch the deal and we get the work drive folder id from that deal now we can just create as many folders as we want so we say create folder response equals zoho.workdrive.create folder and folder name we'll make one called documents and we want to put it in the work drive folder id and then we need the connection which will be ze work drive and now we can do this as many times as we like so we'll do it three times and we'll have an invoices folder and we'll have a photos folder all right perfect so now we're going to click save and we're going to click save so now what's happening is when this extension creates a new work drive folder when our deal is created this workflow rule will run the function will wait 20 seconds then it'll fetch the deal folder id from the record and it'll create the new folders so let's test that to see if it's working let's delete this one Let's go create deal and the deal name will be test work drive extra folders and the account and the closing date and save so now we can see that this has been created but we need to wait the rest of our 20 seconds, which is good because if the 20 second wait is working as it should be, then this value here will be there when we look for it. I think that's been about 20 seconds. So I'm going to click refresh. And now we're going to go down to work drive and there are our folders. Perfect. Now, what you might want to do is you might want to, in your workflow rule, you might want to build on an if statement here, or excuse me, built an else statement. So say else, and then error from wait function. And then here you can send an email and just send this from zoho.loggedinuserid here you want this to be your email address and then the subject will be wait function failed in on create deal workflow rule function and then here you can just put the response so wait response actually let's make this a bit clearer for us response from wait function there we go and we don't need any attachments okay so i'm going to change this to my email address okay and we're going to save that and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the api key so this will only happen if there's an issue in the future and too many people use this but i'm going to and if too many people use this then i'll 
delete this key and you'll have to contact me to get your own key. But anyway, for now, I'm going to leave the ABC123 key working. But if that happens and we go, I've now changed the key so that it's invalid. And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to create a new deal. And this will be test error deal. And now I've received an email from my system. There we go. Now I've received this email. You see here, response from wait function, error, invalid API key. So if you ever receive that email, you'll know that unfortunately I've had to delete the ABC123 key. And that's why you can no longer access it with that. And then all you'll have to do is email me and ask me for a new key. So I'm just going to go and fix the key so that it works again. So the correct key is going to be, let's make the correct key ZE partner. And save that, all lowercase. So now we'll create a final deal, a final test deal. And save. Wait for the work drive folder to be created. So it should come to us quite quickly now. So there we go. I'm going to refresh. And now if we go down to work drive, we can see our folders are all here. All right, perfect. So that's how you automatically create the folders on creating the deal. It's a real shame that Zoho doesn't have this sleep function built in. I will save this into the YouTube video description. Before I go, I want to show you guys how you can use this plugin a bit better. So there's some awesome functions here. So one of the best things is that you can just upload things directly to it. So if we go to here and say new text file, test.text, let's just put some text in there so it doesn't think it's a virus. There we go. And there's our file. And now if we go here to our folder, we can see there's our file. So one of the other things that's nice about this that you can do is you can create new folders from here as well. You can obviously search it. There's all sorts of things you can do. So it's a really, really useful extension to, and uh, I think uh, massive respect to the guy or, or girl who made this. It's a really good job. And I think the application works really well, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video teaching you how to automatically create these folders. You can obviously do other things as well at the same time that involve this folder. So you might want to send an electronic signature document and you do that from the same code. There's so much that can be achieved, but uh, please like the video, please subscribe to my, leave us a comment. All of these things really, really help me. And uh, I really appreciate your support. And I'm going to be trying to make more videos in the coming weeks and months now, because I have a bit more time on my hands. So I'm looking forward to creating more content.